Okay, rounding up, we have a 1500 point battle report for you. Um, a Nemesaur army that you've seen a few times. Uh, Dawn of War, some Nemesaur with Immortals, one unit of Warriors are on here. We're facing Blood Angels, one unit of uh, Assault Marines with a Wings of Sanguinius uh, uh, Psyker there, Librarian. Squad Attack from Marines, they're on that objective. There's one objective over here. And there's a bunch of stuff coming on. Uh, a bunch of guys inside uh, uh, that Razorback there. Laz Plaz Razorback has a bunch of uh, furious guys in there. Blood Rage uh, effective on them. A bunch of eight Marines in that thing. A bunch of guys with missiles. Um, over here, you've seen my army before. Oh, these guys also got to the Rage. They're also raging. They rolled a one. Um, Annihilation Barge. Ten with Gaze of Death, Lord of Fire. Four Wraiths. Everything walking on. Destroyers and Scarabs. All that stuff is going to be walking on the table edge. And we're on to... Uh, uh, the game, I think I'm. you're going first, right? Yes. I am uh, not going to steal initiative. I'm going to let you uh, go first. So, okay, back in so a bit. rounding up top of turn one for Blood Angels. I actually mi forgot to mention, these guys are all reserved. All that stuff is reserved. So, just these units are on the table. Uh, what happened? These guys, Wings of Sanguinius, success. Flew in over here, tried to do Blood Lance, but failed the leadership check. Fired some pistols against those guys, but uh, didn't cause any wounds, and then were out of range to charge because I was careful in my deployment. Um, those guys just chilling on that objective over there, and that's it. So turn one, all my um, my whole army's coming on here. We're gonna try to punish those guys as much as we can. Try to hurt them. Back okay, in a bit. so rounding up uh, top uh, bottom of turn one. Sorry for Necrons. What happened? Uh, we uh, flew these guys on. Um, Nemesaur gave his own squad counter charge just in case things went badly here. We were gonna be ready to take a charge, but we managed to fire AP three and AP two weaponry. Managed to fire some shots from the warriors. We gunned everyone down there, so they they just got swept off the board. Uh, Katan moved on, ran three inches. These guys moved on, ran six inches. Moved on, ran six inches. I forgot to move them, but then I just ran them four inches forward. They're out in the open a little bit. Hopefully that won't come to bite me in the ass. We'll see. And uh, that was it. Annihilation Barge uh, helped fire in there, but uh, I don't think he might have killed maybe one or two guys. Yeah, so he was actually helping shoot those guys down. And it is on to top of turn two for Blood Angels. Hopefully some stuff starts coming from reserve. Okay, Back rounding up uh, top of turn one. What showed up? Uh, last class with the raging guys inside. Uh, a auto cannon razor back showed up. Uh, tons of firing into this unit, killed two guys out of all of that, but uh, they both reanimated. So uh, I placed them uh, just in front of uh, Nemesaur Zandrick there, and uh, they're back, so that was pretty lucky for me. And it is on to bottom of turn uh, two for me, back in a bit. Okay, so uh, Blood Angel turn, what happened? Tycho's unit showed up over here, popped smoke. Those guys walked on, the Devastators ran because they couldn't fire their weapons. Those guys moved out of there, only ran one inch unfortunately, but they're getting really close. There's a priest in there, so it's going to be hard to gun him. Those guys moved over there 12 inches and popped smoke, so they're taking up a side position. And uh, I think everything in your army is on the board, right? Yeah, everything came on. So, uh, okay, so we got some tough decisions to make. How do I deal with all this stuff? I gotta think about it. Okay, so, so just a little mid turn, uh, I think it's turn three, right? Yeah. Yeah, mid turn three wrap up because there's combat starting. Wraiths got into combat against the Devastators. Scarabs have gone in against this thing that moved 12. I wish I had a better target for the Scarabs, but he's running out of vehicles and there's nothing else to go. So, hopefully, I'm gonna release Tycho's squad over here. And we'll wrap up in a little bit. We're going to do a little wrap okay, up. Okay, so rounding up the whole turn. What happened in this combat? Uh, Scarabs, of course, uh, exploded that vehicle. Uh, managed to... Uh, those guys were not pinned, though, because they're fearless. They were Tycho. Over here, Wraith's a bit of a flub. Uh, we killed one guy with a rend. All saves were made, and then we failed one save. So it's a tied combat over there. Uh, Catan moved up and ran six inches. So he just came from here, and he's out there. He's ready to, to fight. These guys moved up into here. 
helped fire into one of those units, managed to, they, they do have feel no pain because there's a priest over there, managed to kill a few guys though, this thing zotted into there, killed I think one or two more guys, it didn't arc to anybody, my wraiths were in the area too, but they didn't get arced to as well. Um, these guys uh, managed to fire all their AP3 and AP2 guns at that unit, but only killed about three guys, I think. I only managed to kill three guys there. Um, what did I give out? I gave out counterattack to this unit here, and I took away Furious Charge from those guys. And that was it. So we're on to bottom of turn three, coming up for uh, Blood Angels. They're going to try to respond to this. Okay, bottom aggression. of turn three, mid-turn wrap-up. Uh, these guys decided, after they got their Furious Charge taken away, and there's counterattack over here, they decided to go this way. They're going, joining in on the rates there. And uh, these guys, uh, of course, zotted a bunch of guys from Meltas and Plasma and Pistols or whatever. They charged in. They're probably going to chop me down there. So pretty interesting combat. Okay, so combat. rounding up that bottom of turn three. Of course, these guys just slaughtered through those scarabs. Not even a single scarab got to attack because they just got eviscerated. Over here, uh, Wraiths managed to kill two of these guys with Rens. All saves were passed on both units, though. So uh, they managed to insta-kill one Wraith with the Power Fist that's right there. So uh, it was 2-2, two to two, so another tied combat, but we're holding up two units, that's not too bad. Um, uh, other than that, I think that was it. These guys came in here, oh no, 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 uh, what happened? Um, failed to save from the auto cannon over here. Then something like four or five pistols managed to roll sixes on this guy. Mercifully though, I only failed one of those saves, thank god. It was getting hairy there, because the first two saves I rolled uh, below four plus, so... Uh, but he managed to stick it out, so he's ready to go. And I think that was about it, that turn, those guys, yeah, that thing moved closer and fired this guy. So back in a bit with turn four, top of turn okay, four. Okay, mid top of turn wrap up, because the Catan has finally made it into combat against these Devis, I guess tactical Marines, is that, that's what they are? Yeah. And this combat is continuing to swirl over here. Um, these guys are out right now, but they'll be in very soon, so I need to do some damage here uh, to have a chance okay, to Okay, so, so rounding up this top of turn four, what happened? Nemesaur Xandra gave this thing Tank Hunters. It zotted that guy after moving forward six inches. They popped out. Uh, I guess they made their uh, pinning check? Yes. And uh, those guys over there fired in. Unfortunately, they, haven't, they now had covers, so we only managed to kill one guy. Um, over here, Catan charged in, slaughtered three guys. Gaze of Death killed nobody, though, and um, I couldn't heal a wound. So um, he's still locked in combat with those guys. They made their leadership. Down to two wounds. You can't see this very well, but this is a, this is a two. Uh, that's from the shooting last round. Over here, uh, Gong Show Combat. The Wraiths, I thought they were in trouble because they missed almost every attack. I think they got two hits in, one wound cause, no, no wounds taken. But then uh, we made all of our saves, even against the three power weapon hits. Those three plus invulnerables held out for us. So uh, we're going to take this charge from these guys very, very soon, but uh, you know, so be it. And that was about it. So we're just advancing forward. And, uh, oh, these guys over here moved up five through the terrain. And then I was making a decision. I tried to fire into there, but nobody was in range. They were about an inch out of range for the, uh, the AP3 gun there. And that was about it. So on to bottom okay, of turn mid four. Okay, mid-bottom of turn four. Another um, mid-turn wrap-up. These guys finally charged into there. Now, they lost Furious Charge because Nemesaur Xandrak took it away. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. There's so many bodies in here. I mean, I can't imagine these rates surviving much longer. Over here, those guys are gutsy. They're like, screw this. Catan down to two wounds. We're taking him on. Those assault guys charged in there. I don't think there's any power fists, but there's a lot of attacks coming my way. It could get hairy. Let's see what happens. Back. Okay, so rounding up bottom of turn four. These these wraiths have just made insane saves. Now I did get absolutely crushed this combat, but I only got two wounds on me. Somehow the power fists, like four of them, got through. I made all my saves. A bunch of uh, things got through. I made a ton of saves. Now I cr I did crumble on the only two fearless saves I had to make, and I crumbled down to one base with only one wound left but he's somehow holding up these three squads here. Over here, the Catan took a wound from somebody, but killed four guys out of that unit. Then his Gaze of Death killed two more guys, one from each unit. He healed himself back up to two, because he did take one wound from the combat. And he's just stomping on those guys there. And uh, that, was, uh, that was it, so we're on to top of okay, turn so five. Okay, so rounding up that uh, bottom of uh, top of turn five, I mean, no surprise, these guys finally killed down that last wound off the remaining Wraith. Everyone consolidated four inches. That's a uh, single squad of two guys, Devastators. Single squad of, I think, four or five guys there. Four guys. And the rest of the guys are all in one big squad with Tycho. What happened? I gave, he, Nemesaur Xander gave himself and his unit uh, counter attack. So they all have counter attack. Uh, this guy uh, fought those guys, decided to put the attacks into the chaplain, killed him. I did Gaze of Death, trying to actually clip my own guys just to help increase the odds of healing a wound back, but I didn't actually hurt my own guys. And I didn't manage to hurt him either. This thing flew 12 inches just to be within range, 3 inches of contesting that uh, objective there. 
And, um, uh, but, uh, you know, strength three, toughness uh, 11 on the back couldn't hurt. Those guys had nothing to do, so they just moved up. I actually forgot to run them, but so be it. And they just flew up over there. So we're on to bottom of turn five. This is the last chance for Tycho to try to take an object back. Okay, so uh, we've actually been kind of messing up the, the turns. I mean, this is uh, bottom of turn five, I'm pretty sure, because the uh, your army went first, right? So uh, this is bottom of turn five. We're going to see if the game ends. Here we go. On a one or two, the game will end. The game continues. On to turn six. Back in a bit. Okay, rounding up top of turn six, what happened? Um, we got slaughtered in combat pretty beautifully. We did manage to kill a few guys. Um, we lost by six, but then I rolled a four to stick around, so that was miraculous. Uh, four guys returned to play afterwards with a four plus orb. That was brutal, brutal over here. Uh, Catan slaughtered that one guy on his own, just sneezed on him, moved on. These guys charged in here, tried to throw grenades at the vehicle, but it went fast, so they couldn't do it. And that was it. On to bottom of turn okay, six. Okay, mid bottom of turn six roundup because the Catan is in combat. Uh, just a quick roundup. Those guys had nothing else to shoot at. They flew over there, gunned down their AP3 and AP2 guns into those two guys that were there. Uh, and uh, this thing just moved a, a couple of inches just to stay within uh, three inches of this objective. That's uh, right there. But uh, not, it can't shoot at anything. Catan charged in there. I gave him furious charge and there was no abilities to take away. I, I took away, uh, you know, uh, what you call it, from those guys, but it might not matter if they don't get a chance to assault. So, uh, the furious charge room. So back in a bit, so Catan All right, is so furious. rounding up this in. combat. Believe it or not, the Catan is dead. He managed to put two wounds into this unit, kill two guys. The power, the power fist with the storm shield made his invulnerable save, though. He went, he put one wound into the Catan, he failed invulnerable. Then this jerk over here with his strength four sword got one hit on the Catan, rolled a six to wound, and then I failed my four plus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Catan goes down to a strength four garbage hit, so I wasn't able to gaze at death. Otherwise, look at all these juicy targets to gaze at death. In the meantime, what happened? Warsight killed a guy over here. These guys, together, killed three, so we lost combat by two. We stuck around uh, with leadership eight, though, and two reanimated. One is gone for good. And we're going to see if the game ends on a one, two, or three. You want to roll it up for us? Grab a dice? Here we go. Roll dice. Roll dice. Game Ooh. continues to turn seven. The pain continues. Okay, okay so top of turn seven, what happened? Uh, killed two of my guys. Uh, flubbed on some of his uh, power fists. I managed to actually kill three in return. Uh, Zendrek finally killed a guy. Got through his fill of pain. This guy managed to kill two. So we won by one, but everyone stuck it out. So it's bottom of uh, turn okay, seven. Okay, so rounding up bottom of turn seven, what happened? Uh, we lost combat by one. Uh, killed two guys with the war scythe. Three, uh, two guys died, and he took another wound from his invulnerable from a fist. But we, they ran us down. We rolled eleven for the leadership. So they consolidate on here. Luckily, my vehicle is there, ready to contest. So the game ends on turn seven, one to zero. One over there, one to zero in favor of uh, uh, Necrons. But thanks for the game, man. Good game. Yeah, good game. Appreciate it.